All right, guys, you just got your GMRS license. You just got some radios from Amazon, wherever you ordered them from, buy2wayradios.com, who cares? Let's set them up. Let's set them up so we all are talking to each other, all the levels are right, you have your battery save mode on, and privacy tones set. Um, I like privacy tones. I know they're not private, but they're nice for blocking everyone else out when you're just trying to communicate with who you want to communicate with. So let's get into it. Here's what I got in the setup today. We have a Midland MXT275. This is a 15 watt little base station. Nice little handheld. This is a weighted mic. It feels really good. Um, this is a bigger base station and it's hooked to a Duracom, which I'll link below. When you go up to 50 watts, it has to be hooked to a power station. These 50 watt radios just draw too much power to run right off a DC outlet. This is a Baofeng GMRS9R. This is my favorite little GMRS radio. It's waterproof. It's in a nice tough shell. And the last radio on here is ones that I tell people not to get because they're not waterproof. And these are ham radios and we have our GMRS license. This is a Baofeng UV5RHP and it is an 8 watt radio, but it won't make any difference in your how far you can talk. Now one quick note about turning these on, make sure you have an con antenna connected up and to this radio, just in case you accidentally ever hit the push to talk while it's on and there's no antenna, you could really damage your radio. Okay, so we got a GMRS radio here. Um, this is a GMRS, not a ham. This is specifically just for GMRS. This is a Baofeng uh, GMRS9R. And let's hit the menus. So first thing I'm going to want to do is this is Squelch, S-Q-L. And the higher you set this, I'm going to mute this lady here. The higher you set this, the more you're going to block out bad signal. So I like this down because I like to pick up even a fuzzy signal when it's coming in. Even if it is fuzzy, I'll take it if someone's trying to get to me. And we're going to set that. Get to the important ones. TXP is your transmit power. Um, on my handhelds, I just leave them on high. There's no reason not to. They're not that powerful, so we leave those on high all the time. Vox is for voice activation. This is annoying. It's just going to annoy everybody. Everyone's radio is just going to be going off all the time. Don't even use it. Uh, this is your band. We want this on wide. That's going to give you the most coverage. We want to go as far as we possibly can. Always keep that on wide. I don't really see any reason to use uh, narrow. Uh, this is dual watch. I have that off, but if you were to turn this on, um, if you're back here, if I have my two channels, if somebody starts talking on channel 19, um, I'll, it'll go to that channel and start listening. So it's a cool feature. I usually just leave it off because I'm just going to be on whatever channel I want to be on. Uh, this is the talk timer and it's set to 60 seconds. Um, you shouldn't be talking longer than 60 seconds on your radio anyways. We are just getting messages out. We're not going to have a full phone conversation. Auto lock is probably a good feature if you're putting this in a chest vest or something that's going to press buttons. It'll automatically lock the radio every few seconds so you're not pressing a bunch of buttons messing with your settings. I leave mine off because it's not in the rig. This is the Roger beep. I leave it on. It's just nice because when you are transmitting to someone else, this might it gives you a little beep when I let go. It lets you know that I have ended that transmission. You hear the little beep at the end. It's just nice to have. Okay, here's how you code your privacy tones. So let's go to a channel with no privacy tones on it. You could see right now on channel 17, it says CT. That means there's already a privacy tone on there. Let's do one that doesn't. This is uh, channel 18. So we're on 18. You can see by the little asterisk mark next to it. We're going to go to menu. I am going to scroll up until I see RCTCS. This is receive. So we want to receive... Let's just pick one. I want to receive on 71.9. Confirm. Confirmed in there. Now we're receiving on 
channel 18 on that tone. Now let's go in and make sure we get our transmit set too. So let's transmit on 71.9 and we confirm it. And so now we're, we have, we're receiving RCTCS and we are transmitting on transmit CTCS. Okay, so let's go to 18 on this. This has no tone on it. So I've already put my call tag out. I'm not gonna do it on air, but hello, hello. We got nothing on this radio. We are we have privacy toned this one. So to connect that to that, we're literally just gonna do the exact same thing on the radio. Just watch that video over again, put that in there, and the radios will work. I'm gonna cut off, we'll do it on this, and then we'll show you that it works. Okay, so now these are both on channel 18 with the code set. Menu. Transmit CTCS, and sorry, I'm working two radios here, I need to go backwards, and receive on both of them. You can see they're the same. Let's X out, and we'll do both. Testing, testing, and we have it there. Turn this one up. Testing, testing, and we have both of them are now connected with their privacy tones. Uh, memory channels, the cool thing about GMRS is the memory channels are already set. They All the channels that you're gonna have is already in there. You don't have to program them. So if you're using something like this, this is the Baofeng UV5RHP. This is just basically your basic UV5R ham radio. When you do this, we have frequency mode, and channel mode, I had to personally go through and plug all of these GMRS channel frequencies in, save them with power levels and everything. It's a pain. Just don't even bother with these. I know that this is 8 watts and this is only 5 watts, but you will not see a difference with those 3 watts at all. I haven't. I've extensively tested these in all kinds of areas. There is no difference between 8 and 5 watts. You're not going to get any difference from that. Uh, and these are waterproof. I just like them better. I usually would just tell people just to stay away from these. There's, there's really no purpose to them if you have your GMRS license. And these are ham only, so you shouldn't be transmitting on ham if you have a GMRS license. One thing I want to talk about, too, is this is a Midland radio. And we're going to flash on the screen the tones and how to connect the Baofangs to the Midlands with your privacy tones. This is a little bit why I don't like Midland radios that much. So the privacy tones are coded as numbers. This is nine on this screen on a Midland radio. And to match up with my privacy tones, which are ninety one point five on receive ninety one point five on transmit it's actually nine on this screen I, and again we're gonna put the thing up so you can see it but this is how you would transmit to that see I have now everything is gonna pick up on that this is why I like BTEC products this is a BTEC 50 watt base station here and the menus between all of the Baofeng and BTEC stuff is exactly the same. So when I hit menu on this, it's all the same stuff. I get all the same options. It acts, there's my tones, transmit tone, and we can set that in there. Um, yeah, there's my receive, and the menu's identical, so there's no confusion. The Midlands, very, very good, well-made radios. I just wish the tones were the same so you didn't have to use the chart to figure them out. Okay. If there's any more questions, we'll get into more radio stuff later on. But this is just a real nice, basic way to set up. We want to have base stations connected to all of our handhelds. I like having a big 50-watt radio um, as a base station. Because even if the handhelds can't get to the base station the base station can reach out to all the little handhelds and everybody can hear it on their handhelds, which is really nice. And getting all those privacy tones coded up is really good as well. That's going to cover it.